Hello and welcome. Thank you for your attendance. Tonight I wanted to talk uh, from a slightly different perspective. Uh, I think that we are faced consistently uh, in a world where things are changing uh, almost sort of by the hour. So sometimes it's very hard to get your head around what it actually means. Consistently, gender, gender identity, sexuality are conflated. So for the ordinary person to try and disentangle those things, it takes quite a bit. Uh, and so consequently, often people feel silenced because they're unsure of how to approach these particular things, so they don't say anything. What that's allowed is a huge amount of misinformation, and I think the misinformation does none of us any good. Because what it does is it leads a whole range of people off in questioning their own sort of ability to understand what's happening, creates divisions between us that don't really need to be there. Part of my work uh, as a unionist uh, is I work a lot with people. I'm the CUTE uh, Queer Unionist in Tertiary Education Convener nationally for the National Tertiary Education Union. And we have all sorts of people within our CUTE caucus. We don't ask questions about who you are. If you believe you want to be a member of the caucus, you are. Uh, because that's the way in which we want to operate. If we take that one step further, then what is it that's actually stopping us from being able to work collectively and come up with different ways? I believe very strongly that women's sex-based rights must be protected because if we protect that, then from there emanates a whole range of other protections for all people within society. Rights in and of themselves have many different sort of ways of operating and I like to think about rights as having responsibilities and they're two sides of the one coin. And when we think about that, uh, what we need to be able to understand and articulate to ourselves and to others is what that actually looks like. I think the changes, proposed changes to the legislation are very narrow and I think what they will end up doing is creating a range of very unforeseen uh, circumstances. Uh, any legislative change has the, you know, the ability for that to happen and we've seen many instances of totally contradictory things coming out because of the way in which it's interpreted. I think that uh, if we don't uh, think about what all of those terms mean uh, and we're constantly trying to unpack them, then we're not looking at how we actually work together collectively. I'm much more interested in having good and robust relationships with others where we can agree to disagree but we can work on things jointly because that's my life, that's the way in which I operate. I'm a social work academic so I teach uh, young people, older people to be social workers. I'm at the end part of my uh, career and have felt myself very privileged for the work that I've done. One of the things that I love about being an academic is all of the younger people who come in who are questioning their sexuality and who you know will come and ask very oblique questions uh, in order to try and sort of get an answer. Um, that gives me great sort of enjoyment when that happens and I have lots of things on in my office and outside my door to make sure that people feel that they can come and ask any sort of question whatsoever. As part of that we talk a lot about identity and I teach them how to actually develop their social work identity. So identity is a very important and crucial part for all of us. We have multiple identities, including our gender identity. And if we sort of try and corral gender identity as being something very separate and you know, way more important than any other part of our identities, then I think what we do is we end up sort of uh, pushing what could be a much more uh, mutative way of operating to being sort of on the edge. And what we want to do is bring <coughs> what's on the edge in so that we can then actually work uh, in a very different way. Misinformation doesn't allow us to do that because what it does is it isolates people and, you know, I can't really ask that question because, you know, I might not have the right answer. I think that it's really important for us to be clear about how we work together. Uh, our society is you know, based on a whole range of contradictions, complexities, all manner of things that actually bind us but also actually separate us. 
I'm much more interested in trying to work out how we work together so that one person's rights are not actually changed because someone else determines that their rights are more important. I think it's really important that uh, people, transgender people don't have to go through operations. I mean, I think that's a whole other level of othering where people are then either not able to afford it uh, or don't particularly want to go that path and are then kind of othered in a way that doesn't that keeps them on their edge or on the margin and doesn't allow them to become uh, to come in. I think what we can do and we can do it well if we actually agree that we want to actually work and live and you know collaborate on all of the sorts of things that make us tick. When Holly talked about the map I had a bit of a smile because I have a terrible sense of direction and my map must have gotten mixed up somewhere along the line. As a long time lesbian I want to be able to use my map to be able to be with people that respect me so that I respect them and they respect my right to be able to be a lesbian with the people that I want to actually spend time with, that I'm not constantly having to be sort of, you know, am I in the right space, can I do this or can I not? Um, I think we need to be thinking about inclusiveness in a much broader con uh, construct uh, rather than trying to kind of corral things into sort of fitting within a box. Um, I've resisted that box all of my life and I will continue to do so. Uh, I want to be on that map that's a bit wobbly, that takes me in different directions but allows me to consider the people that are around me. Thank you.